One of the first Roman military camps existed in Gorzium in Pannonia. Gorzium developed from a Roman fortress at the crossroads of several important trade routes. By the second century, the locale was incorporated as a town. During the year 260, the town had been totally destroyed by a fire. Thirty years later, during the period of Emperor Diocletian, the town Herculia had been built on the ruins of Gorzium. It had been completely reconstructed and developed all its glory as a town in the interior. The name Herculia was given by Diocletian in honor of his co-emperor Maximianus Herculius. The always expanding town was fortified with a wall and watchtowers. In the 9th century, a people arrived again from the north through the area of the great Hungarian plains. The horse-riding people who had settled here and were wearing only light armaments were driven westward by the Pechenegs and by other horse tribes. Their battle tactics were unknown, their warriors were very wild and determined. The Hungarian conquest came about in 896 in the Carpathian Basin under the guidance of Arpad, the leader of about half a million Hungarians. They consisted of seven tribes of Hungarian origin called Magyar, Tarjan, Genur, Ker, Kezi, Kurjermat, and Nik. They regularly conducted violent raids against the western countries of Europe. During the course of time, the city expanded continuously, eventually creating suburbs on top of the hills rising from the surrounding marshlands. Peasants, craftsmen and tradesmen were settling there. The city of Sekesh Fehevar became an intersection of several important trade routes, which led through the valley of the area around Mor and through the area surrounding West Prem westward to the Balkan Peninsula, as well as northeastward to a Danube ferry crossing that is today's city of Budapest, and along Lake Balaton in the direction of Italy. King Stephen I reorganized the political structure of Hungary. He replaced the old tribal districts with about 40 counties. During the 11th century, the town was one of the most important stations along the pilgrim's route to the Holy Land. In accordance with his wishes, Stephen had been laid to his final rest in the basilica in the year 1038. The completed basilica had been consecrated at the same time. The building of the three-nave gigantic basilica of Roman style with its extensions in Gothic style had been developed from a simple town church. Its completion occurred in the 15th century. It was, after all, a royal building with marble floors, frescoes and golden altars, richly decorated with crystals, onyx and decorated with tableware made of gold and silver. The monastic orders had great influence on the church construction in Hungary. They had brought already existing church construction techniques to the country. The stone coffin of Stephen was made of a Roman sarcophagus. Its design reflected the Byzantium influence. The reconstruction of the cover of the sarcophagus occurred in 1962 based on a drawing by Erno Sakal. His drawing was based on stone pieces found of the original sarcophagus. Blessed Virgin Mary, there is no other woman in the world like you, thou daughter and servant of the highest and majestic King of the Father in heaven, thou mother of our holiest Lord Jesus Christ, thou engaged with the Holy Ghost. Pray for us along with the holy archangel Michael 
along with all the powers in heaven, with your most holy and loved Son, Lord and Master. Under King Matthias, the architecturally biggest modifications in the construction of the basilica were made. They were the last steps in the final completion of the history of the basilica's construction work. The building of late Gothic style was one of the biggest churches in Europe at the time. The final height of the main nave was 44 meters, while the length of the basilica was approximately 100 meters. The two towers of different heights were about 70 meters tall. Between 1038 and 1543, over a period of 500 years, 43 kings and 39 queens were crowned in the basilica. Fifteen Hungarian kings are buried there. <laughs>